Hi, uh, it's me again, uh, Farizal. And now uh, we are continuing on uh, Chapter 6, uh, Aggregate Sales and Operation Planning for Part 3B, which involves the uh, linear programming using the solver function in Excel. So we still refer to the uh, good and rich company uh, example, whereby uh, this company is producing a uh, chocolate based on the uh, demand listed here from spring, summer, fall until the winter and the forecast also changes uh, not so much but uh, it changes depending on the quarter uh, time all right and then the hiring cost is here the firing cost is here inventory the regular production cost per pound the production per employee is there and then the beginning workforce is there also Besides that, we have uh, developed the linear programming model which include the uh, formula for calculating the uh, total cost and then we have the demand constraint, the production constraint and the workforce constraint. Now, uh, let's try to solve the problem using the linear programming model by having to use the solver. So let's see the, the, the same example here. But before that, we should uh, add another add-ins to the Excel, which is being called as the solver here. So how to add this uh, solver icon to your Excel data sheet? So what you should do is you should go to the file, all right? And then you click on the option and then you go to the add-ins and then you manage the add-ins which is this one and then you click go and then you will see that there is another add-in they call it as a solver add-in so click on this one and the solver icon uh, shortcut will be uh, inserted inside your uh, excel sheet okay now, in order to use the linear programming model using a solver uh, add-on, so the first thing first before we can uh, start anything is that we must ensure that we must list down what kind of a constraint for your uh, LP model. So as you can see here, as I have listed here on the right hand side, the first constraint is on the demand constraint whereby the first, the first set of constraints ensure that the demand is met each quarter. So it means that the demand and also the production must be equal for each of the, uh, for each of the um, quarter. The second constraint is on the production constraint, whereby the production constraint consists of the four production constraint convert the workforce size to the number of units that can be produced that's the 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 the, the, the second concern is that the production constraint are being limited by the number of the workforce the third constraint will be the workforce constraint the workforce constraint limit the workforce size in each period to the previous period workforce plus the number of workers hired in the current period minus the number of workers fired so that's the the next um, uh, constraint which is the uh, workforce constraint now let's try to copy the initial solution here to another table so that easier for you to uh, um, uh, define uh, to differentiate between the initial solution uh, with the uh, solver solution so we just uh, delete this one and make it as a solver solution okay so now uh, put your cursor at the cost here all right and then go to data go to the solver here this pop-up will come up which is the uh, solver parameter now we need to set the set objective uh, column which is this one Okay, this is the H21 and then just click there and then uh, you need to go for, you are considering the 
minimum quantity all right uh, and then by changing variable cells which cells that you want to change for this case we want to change this cell from c28 until cell g31 so these are the cells that you want to change all right this one this cell okay the brown color one next what you need to do is you need to add the constraint so what are the constraint involved the first constraint as you, if you can remember is the demand constraint what which one is the demand constraint uh, cell this one so from h28 until h31 okay so that's the first cell must be equal huh? you change this one to equal must be equal to the demand constraint so so it must be equal to this demand which is uh, cell number b28 until b31 so that's the the first constraint when you click ok then you will the, this one will come up as the first constraint the second constraint you put is uh, put, uh click the add here again all right is on the production constraint so where's the production constraint column this one which is the i28 until i31 it must be equal okay to the production constraint which is the c28 until c31 so that's the second limitation all right uh, uh constraint and the last constraint is on the workforce constraint so where is the workforce constraint so this is the workforce constraint which is from uh, j28 until j31 must be equal all right to the workforce needed this one so from e28 until e31 so when you click ok so you will have all the three constraints uh, listed in the uh, constraint column so now next you must select this one okay make the unconstrained variable uh, non-negative okay next thing you click the option tab when you click the option tab a new uh, a new pop-up will come up so for the all method just ignore it as it is for the GRG linear method instead of uh, for the convergence is 0 0.0001 for the derivative change the derivative from central to forward so ensure that your derivative must be in a forward all right uh, and then evolutionary just maintain as it is okay don't change anything and then you click okay all right so now when you have this one what you should do is that select a solving method you must change from this grg non-linear to the simplex linear programming so you just change this one it should be a simplex uh, linear programming and finally you click solve so this pop-up will come up all right and you can see at the cost there the cost has changed from 835 to 832 which is this is the minimum uh, the optimum uh, solution for the cost and then ensure that you have the report also just so that you just click on the answer all right and then what you should do you just click ok and the answer report will be uh, produced on the, uh, the, the 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 neighboring slide of your current active uh, uh, tab all right so you can check this uh, the answer here to ensure that everything is correct okay so now you can see that the value have changed okay the value of the optimum cost has changed from 835 changed to 832 okay and also what else has changed the next thing that changed is on the 
uh, the value of the inventory for the summer from zero now it changed to thirty thousand okay thirty thousand there the workforce needed also change all right there you see that the value has changed also all right and also the workforce hired also change okay all right and also the workforce fired also change all right but everything else uh, on the production remain the same the demand constraint remain the same the production constraint they remain the same so this is how you can find the optimum solution for the cost by having to use solver um, by using to use the excel solver uh, function